It's the Mavericks in Dallas, Texas for a little interconference action here at the American Airlines Center. So glad you can join us for this presentation of 2K Sports in the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan joining me, Steve Kerr, and Clark Hello. All right, presented by State Farm, let's take a look at the Miami starting five. Wade and LeBron fill out the wings. Joel Anthony is out there with Chris Bosh, and it's Chalmers in at the point guard. And for the Mavericks, Dirk Nowitzki and Tyson Chandler in the middle. Jason Kidd is out there with Rudy Fernandez, and it's Butler in at the three, the small forward. Well, Miami had such a turbulent season last year as far as the drama that surrounded that team, but they were consistent and steady on the road, and they ended up with the best away record in the Eastern Conference. And it's the Mavericks to start out. Kid kicks to Nowitzki. Over Bosch. Nowitzki, good. Nowitzki's got the first points up on the board tonight here for the man. And back to Miami, you know, Clark, road trips aren't easy when you're the villains of the NBA. And there's no doubt that wanted poster in the NBA has got a picture of that Miami threesome up there. Huh? <laughs> I agree, no yeah. doubt about it. But I think that also helped them come together. You know, teams typically do a good job of bonding when they're on the road. That us against them mentality, nobody for you. And quite honestly, really good teams and players enjoy winning on the road more than they do even winning at home. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Kevin, earlier I had a chance to speak with Rick Carlisle. Coach feels that this game is all about keeping a level head because at times points will be hard to come by. He said they have a strong defense and we just can't let scoring droughts stay with us. Just keep working for all quarters and we'll come out on top. Persistence is the key, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you. Taking on a defense like that one they're facing today, Clark has certainly got their attention. Yeah, you know what, Kevin? I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they need to dictate what they do offensively instead of taking what's available. Take what you want. Steve? Well, that's the only way to go. I mean, this is a game about aggressiveness. And uh, if they're not aggressive, uh, that defense is going to swallow them up. To start last season, Rudy Fernandez demanded a trade from the Blazers. Said he wanted to go back to Spain or to a city like New York, Chicago, or Boston, where he could get direct flights to Spain. What was he thinking about? Now here's Bosch. Clock at four. From deep LeBron. LeBron with another miss. On defense, Miami. It's a three-point game. You're right about Fernandez. He really wanted out of Portland. He threatened to sit out games, got fined by the NBA, and then once the season started, Steve ended up uh, rescinding his trade demand. Yeah, and he really didn't get any more minutes uh, last season, but he appeared happier. He felt like he had a more defined role uh, with the Blazers, and I thought that came in, in handy for him. He, he seemed to, to fit in much better and uh, had become a, a relatively consistent role player for the Blazers. And Butler backing him in. He's picked up by LeBron. On the left block. And Butler with a nice bucket inside. Here's LeBron. Played outside. Pointer and it's Chalmers that time on the assist by Wade. Chalmers has got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Dallas really played a lot of zone defense last year, and I thought it worked out well for them, especially with the personnel they brought in. Tyson Chandler manning the paint really helped that club. Now, here's Kidd looking for his first bucket of the game. Six to shoot, it's stolen by Wade. Well, he's showing off his defensive instincts by making plays. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. And our Sprite Slam Cam gives us another look. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe I just saw that. Did you see that happen? <laughs> my eyes got to be playing tricks on me here. No, I don't think so, Clark. That was real. Yeah, no, I mean, I, real. I saw it too, Clark. It was real. And Dallas called.
is here for the Mavericks. Haywood comes in for Chandler. And it's Terry in for Rudy Fernandez. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for Miami. Miller comes in for LeBron. Here's Kidd. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Terry outside. Wade is covered. Here's Nowitzki. Buries the easy one. Nowitzki's got his second bucket of the night. Wade a screen on Kidd. Kidd with the double. Wade against Haywood. Here's the floater. The shot by Wade, no good. A chance at a two for one if they want it. Yeah, no question. If I'm them, I'm definitely going two for one. Kid kicks the butt. Fader on the way. It's hauled in by the Heat. Very porous defense down there by the Hoop. He probably should make that one. Wade against Terry. Launches a three. Miami no good on that time either. The Mavericks trailing. Kid up top. Hits it! That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter with a basket. And guys, he got it off just in time. Nice play. Both teams have it going here early and still close through the first quarter. Mavericks ahead. They lead by one. And they've done a nice job here offensively to establish a rhythm and a pace to this game. And I like that they're finding ways to score. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. Here's LeBron. It's amazing. Jason Kidd has now played 18 years in the NBA, and he's changed his game some. He's become more of a spot-up shooter. He's not quite as strong and fast as he once was, but still a great leader and a great point guard uh, for his team. Haywood and Dirk make up the front court. Terry is out there with J.J. Barea, and it's Marion in at the small forward position. So that's who Dallas starts the second with. At the line. Nice job at the line, and that one falls to pick up the end one. Going back to what you said about Kidd, he really became a deadly guard when he improved his jump shot. But you mentioned in his three-point shot, I think would, those numbers would surprise me. Kevin, think back to Magic Johnson in his career. Michael Jordan in his career. The great ones always are adding something to continue to be effective at a high level, even when they slow down, even when they don't jump as high, even as they age. Case in point, Jason Kidd. That's a shot that he makes at over 40% now. So he's a weapon from that arc. That's a great point. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Well, Kevin, the big three all uniting in Miami was seen as a bit of a triumph from the players' point of view. In a sense, the players got a chance to pick where they wanted to play as opposed to the owners having control of where the players played. In a sense, wrestling away control from the owners. Whether or not that trend continues in the NBA, we'll see. Guys? Thank you, Doris. What those three did in Miami and getting there really did shake things up. Yeah, you know, so much of, of where you play is really out of your hands as an NBA player. So it's tough to, to, to find free agency and to get to that point where you've got uh, guys who you want to play with who are also free agents and a team with that much cap room. So this was a, a rare opportunity for these three players, uh, and they, they joined together. Well, when you think of Miami uh, and the, the Heat team, you immediately think of the firepower of the big three but last season their defense was really good in fact they were second in the nba in both opponents field goal percentage and overall rebound differential wade good he's not the tallest guy around but boy can he score in the post some guys just have that knack and he's certainly one of them 
Maria, the pass to Nowitzki. Nowitzki left side. Down to five on the shot clock. Fades. Offensive rebound. Outside Terry. Can't get it to go. The Heat leading by four. Backing down is LeBron. Let's it go. Good work defensively by Nowitzki. And Steve Moore on that stat you said about the Heat. You know, they could suffocate with their D at times. Clark, you saw it firsthand. I mean, this, this team was terrific on the defensive end. And, you know, one leads to another. Very often, good defensive teams are also good rebounding teams because rebounding is finishing the defensive possession. He had no luck from the three-point line earlier, so maybe this one will give him some momentum. And Miami calls their... with some changes. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Hayden. Butler comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. And Jason Kidd has subbed in for J.J. Barea. And then for Miami, Chris Bosh is checked in for Joel Anthony. House comes in for Mike Miller. And it's Chalmers in for Dwayne Wade. Here's LeBron. He's got five. Ball's knocked loose. Puts it up. Boy, isn't it good to see Udonis Haslam back and healthy after missing most of last season with a foot injury. He's a guy who's really been the heart and soul of this Miami ball club over the years. And the first one drops. He doesn't get the second one. The Mavericks trail. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Kevin, for Tyson Chandler, in the span of a year, he won both a gold medal and an NBA championship. And Chandler thinks that one helped lead to the other. I've always been a passionate guy, he said. But being a vocal guy for Team USA and seeing guys responding to what I was saying, I felt like this is on the biggest level you can possibly be on. I don't think if I hadn't had that Team USA experience that I would have been as vocal and successful here with the Mavs. Guys? All right, Doris. Well, that's how it is. I mean, one great achievement builds confidence for the next. And a fantastic run for Tyson Chandler. And Butler backing him in. Blocked. Out of bounds. And they retain possession. Here's Butler. Shot clock at six. Over LeBron. And Butler gets it to go on the assist by Terry. Six points for Butler. Looks like he's finding his touch now because the shots are starting to fall. And here is Chalmers. Passes it to LeBron. The feet to house. The three. And it's good. And the Heat lead by one. Fellas, they are heating up from outside now. Yep. Of their last five hoops, three of them have come from long range. Marion outside. 
dishes at the kid. Let's the free fly. It's hauled in by LeBron. And Miami has possession. Kicks to Chalmers. Fires for three. And that one's good. Now it's a four-point heat lead. Here's Kidd. One second left. Again, Kidd missing. And we'll be back momentarily live from Dallas. 18. And it's a great basketball game going on in Dallas. Now time for HP at the half. The Heat are doing very well so far. They've played Gritty D and have been hauling in the defensive rebounds. Mario Chalmers has been the X Factor. Nothing comes easy. He's done the hard work, and they could pull it out once they get to the second half. And on the other side, Dallas just keeps on scrapping. They've done a great job executing their offense. They've been avoiding sloppy mistakes. An impressive first half for Dirk Nowitzki. He's picked up four points, been outstanding on the defensive side of the court as well, gotten the job done on the glass too. A look at a pair of names we figured would be leading the way, neither putting up their normal averages. And now we'll get